Hi folks, we've got an unboxing today of an iRobot Brava Jet. We bought this from my robot centre and um, they sent this uh, adapter plug with it um, because this actually was sent from Austria. So they've sent a, an adapter plug for use in the UK. So this is the box that it comes in. Um, the price of this at the moment is £169, which is, makes it the cheapest cleaning robot that we've ever bought. So you also get um, seven, seven cleaning pads in with that as well. And that's what it looks like, folks, when you open the box. So we've already got one of these. We've got one three and a half years ago. And we decided to get um, another Brava because uh, the kitchen, since we've moved, is, is um, more appropriate for a larger Brava. So... I had a look, but the new Brava model is over £500. Mm, it's too pricey, isn't it? It's too pricey, yeah. But this is only 169 so when I saw the price of this, I thought, well, I'll just get another one of these and then, you know, can use two, two at once, the old Brava and the new one, and uh, can still get floors cleaned up quicker. So you get this uh, little, looks like a quick start guide, warranty and owner's guide. The warranty is for five years. That's exceptional, isn't it? It's, uh, it's interesting because uh, the first one we bought was three and a half years old and we have had just recently some problems with it, haven't we? Well, we've had um, a problem with the... Um, the jet part. Mm, where it, sp it sprays the water out of here. And, but um, I'm not sure you would actually be able to send it back on that, you know. Mm. If you look the, at the details, they say normal wear and tear is not right. included. I think mm. it's just if, like, the, you know, it, it something electrical went wrong with it and it just stopped working. No, what I think it was, I think the, the nozzle became blocked. Right. And it was just dribbling out of the water. And uh, I but tried to unblock it, mm. but uh, I didn't get anywhere with it. Yeah, but I don't think you could actually send it back okay. on that basis. So, um, Are those disposable pads then? Right, so you get six, dispo is it six? Yeah, six disposable pads, which I think when we got um, our Brava Jet before, I think we got five disposable pads. Mm -hmm. So you get um, two for the wet mop, two for the damp mop, and two that are a dry wipe. Um, but you also now you get a, a reusable, a reusable one, yeah. for the wet mop. Now, you didn't get that before with this. You've also got these, this stuff. I don't even know what this stuff is. It's a um, cleaning solution. Oh, yeah. So, um... It's something you mix with the water before you fill it up, then. I'm not sure. I have to read the directions. Uh, we will sort of uh, cover all that in, in the video. So, as well as the have price being... Look at that. As well as the price being cheaper, they're you get more, putting more goodies in the box as well. put more goodies in, yeah. Um, yeah, so we were saying that the old Brava, the, it doesn't squirt water out anymore. Mm -hmm. However, it's still usable. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just dampen the cloth mm -hmm. before we put it on, so we still use it all the time. And it's had a right hammering over three and a half years, hasn't it? <laughs> it certainly has, yeah. So this is the battery that you get. You can also get a generic replacements. Mm -hmm. which are very cheap we um, bought two high, of them high capacity the high capacity yeah. and we bought two of those so we'll show you that as well same with the pads as well you don't have to buy the uh yeah the jet um, um, reusable ones mm -hmm. 
so we get a generic pad and those are dirt cheap and we've got loads of those now and um yeah we'll show you that as well and the final thing out of the box is the oh, charger so it's got a two pin plug because this has come from austria so that's why they sent this uh so adapter. That, that makes it a bit more cumbersome because the last one we bought was meant for the uk wasn't it and uh, yes it came with a three pin molding on the uh, charger oh i had to pull something off that's why it wouldn't work <laughs> this is a new one and this was the one that we got three and a half years ago so you can see it's made it a bit more cumbersome and these are the pads that we buy the generic pads it, you can see that they're not really any different but they're a lot cheaper the difference is that um in the iRobot reusable pads they, they've sewn on the backing on the keep keep pow that's the make is that keep pow keep pow mm -hmm. on those uh reusable pads um, it just used like like a velcro on the back right. so that um you can take them off before you pop them in the washer which is actually really good and these are the generic batteries that we buy so these are high capacity than the irobot and um they're very cheap so the first thing you'll want to do before using your brava jet is you'll want to charge the battery it's a two hour battery charge time. Um, we already had one charging in the wall, so we'll be using that one. So in the oh, so in the owner's guide, it tells you that Bravajet hard floor cleaning solution is the only solution that can be safely used in your robot mop. Please do not use other cleaning solutions. So it says filling the tank is required for wet mopping or damp sweeping. When wet mopping, mopping you may add cleaning, cleaning solution to the tank before adding water. So before we use our robot mop, we need to take out the pieces of foam here and here. We need to insert our fully charged battery like this. We need to choose a cleaning pad. I've chosen a wet mopping pad, a disposable one. And we put the pad on like this. You'll hear a click and it's fixed on. And I'm going to try out this cleaning solution. So the reservoir for your water is located underneath the handle here. You don't have to put cleaning solution in. You can just put water in. It will still do a really good job. And you've also got the option that um, if you just want to use any old cleaning solution, what you can do is you can put that direct on the pad. And that's what I usually do if I want to use cleaning solution. But if we've got the iRobot special cleaning, cleaning solution, we can put it directly into the tank like that. And the last thing we've got to do before we switch the robot mop on is to fill up this reservoir with water. That's full. So now all we need to do is put it on the floor and switch it on. So here it goes. The Bravo 
jet has three different modes, three different cleaning actions, depending on what pad it's using. So this is the most intensive clean that's used um, with the blue pad. The brother with this pad on will um, spray water out more frequently and does uh, a sort of short rubbing action rather than a long sweep. I actually always use this mode because um, I always find that our floors need it. The kitchen floor hasn't been cleaned for I think it's two days so I would expect this pad to be pretty dirty and uh, I would expect to put it on probably another couple of times before it's really pristine. So we'll leave the Brava Jet to it, we'll let it complete its cycle and then we'll take the pad off and we'll see what it's like. So the bra is finished now, so need to pull this lever thing, which I've already done, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that releases. It's actually quite dirty, isn't it, when you look at it? Mm. Quite dirty and quite wet. So I think what I'll do is I'll put um, a medium throwaway pad on now. Is that an orange one? Mm. And I'll just uh, top the brava up with water. So when I've looked in the reservoir, it's still about half full. So I think I'll just leave it like that. Don't need to put any extra in. And I'll put the orange pad on. So we'll switch it on again and see what that's like. Using this orange pad gives uh, you folks the opportunity to see the different cleaning action. Uh, the Brava Jet has a different cleaning action when it, it uses an orange pad instead of a blue pad. So it does a longer sweep in between putting the water out. So it's sort of like semi, semi intensive rather than intensive. Okay, so the brava has finished its second cycle now. And there's the orange pad compared with the blue pad. I'm going to be doing another video in the very near future where I put two bravas on in the same room in the kitchen and see if they manage to clean the room okay without sort of getting in each other's way. So that's it for this video. Hope that gives you folks some idea about the Brava Jet. Uh, I think it's an awesome little gadget. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.